Hello, so this is the SSBM Philippines Power Ranking video for the first half of 2022. So I know it's called first half 2022 Power Ranking, but this this video or this Power Ranking includes the end of November of last year and December because there was one tournament that was going on during that time, which was the, the Philippine League. Um, yeah, so let's get into it. So I'll start with some, some statistics first, and then I'll move into the honorable mentions and then finally we'll get onto the ranking counting down from 15 to 1. okay so there were eight events during the period the period was november 20 something not exactly november 20 but it was november 20 something 2021 to june 30 2022 i just couldn't remember what the date was and i didn't bother searching the date um there were eight events during the period wow melee 8 which was on february in february wow melee 9 which was in uh march the philippine melee arcadian which was on in april melee did what which is in april as well yeti weekly one two and three which are all in june and the philippine sbm league which started in november and took a shit took a really long time like a way too long to finish that was a tournament that was supposed to originally span like three months but it actually took like eight seven months i think seven or eight months yeah so those are the eight events. So here we have some, some statistics. The most events attended is actually a random name with seven events. Uh, six events we have Hex, Porcupine, and Yetis, who is me. Uh, at five events we have BB Nick. The most events won was Balu and Zack. Um, they both won two events. One event won was BB Nick, Machina, Exachar, and Yetis exist. Who has played the most players in Philippine tournaments? So this is a statistic basically telling us who has played the most people, like different players, unique players, as in like me, like for example, I played against Machu or I played against Sweets. Those are two unique players, right? So this is how many unique players you've played against or how many different players you've played against during the season. Hex and Random have played against 25 or more players. Uh, BB Nick, ISD, Machu, Sweets, and me, Yetis Exist, have played 20 to 24 players. Delta, Johnny69, Kaiser, Machina, Ronin, Roya, Taxmaster World, and Zach have all played 15 to 19 players. I like fries, Ifu, Milchorio, and Ted have both have all played 10 to 14 players. The next statistic is the biggest upset of the season. So I perceive these to be the biggest upsets of the season. In the PH events, Agril beat me in PH SSBM League top eight. I was playing Falco though, but I will still consider this a big upset. Um, because uh, obviously my Falco isn't as good as my Fox, but yeah, I'm Johnning in the PR video. I don't know why. Sorry guys. I shouldn't do that. Porcupine beat ISD in the Yeti Weekly 1. Porcupine also beat Taxmasters Fox in Wow Melee 9. These are the Philippine events. And in the SCA events or Southeast Asia, East Asia events, Porcupine beat ISD at seam 7 porcupine beat x the char at seam 7 porcupine also beat roya in a re and ryan's rebound rumble the rrr um that is a philippine event but it included sca players so i kind of just put in the sca events area and um that event wasn't counted towards the pr so that's why you don't see it in the in the first slide that we had um so the other uh biggest upsets are yeti's beating ingen in asmr season 2 and yeti's beating vb in seam 6. so all these sea upsets actually don't count towards pr we only counted the philippine events actually so these statistics are just fun statistics not really relevant um the only relevant statistics are the ph events uh upsets most hype sets to remember so Makina Machu, PH, SSBM League, uh, Pools. That was a really hype set, I can remember that. Uh, Machu got Makina to the last stock, but then he just got Tipper F smashed and died, and he didn't do the best DI. Um, that was a great set because it was the closest Machu has ever been to beating Makina. Uh, Machu has never beaten Makina in the history of PH, uh, SSBM. Um, Yeti's beating Machina at winners finals at Melee Mil did what? No one saw the set except for the people who were there live, like watching. The, it was not streamed, but it was one of our best sets in my opinion that we've ever played. 
uh we were just like one shotting each other non-stop or like two shotting each other and then tax master versus yeti said wow melee eight this was a great uh reverse 3-0 by tax actually like i was doing really well in the first two games and then he just adapted and beat me in the next three games despite having like really good counter picks as like fox versus chic and then uh tax beating tax Ma zach beating tax master and wow melee eight that was kind of an upset uh no well, not really an upset it's just a hype set sorry um same tournament as the one where tax beat me um but this was grand finals and it was a bit anticlimactic because tax master paused and he had to sd a stock in the last game and it, and it still went down to last stock almost last hit or something like that delta beating johnny at one million nine this is delta's biggest win of the season um beating johnny um he did it twice actually he also beat Johnny in the Philippine League, Philippine SSBM League uh, top eight. But the the Wamili Nine was the first time he did it, and that's why it was really hype because he was like not in the mood to even play. He was like telling everyone, "Yo, I'm really hungry. I want to do something else. I don't want to play anymore. The bracket is, you know, taking long or whatever." And he still upset Johnny even with the like a destroyed mental. And that's why it was such a funny hype set because like. You don't just win in like the worst mental condition that you're in, right? And then he had to play more because he beat Johnny and even though he didn't want to play more, it was kind of funny. Uh, Johnny beating Yetis in the PHSSBM League pools. I think this was quite a good upset. Um, or a good hype, a hype set, sorry, because it went down to last stock. I think last hit as well. Um, I just barely missed an up smash on him on FD and then he like capitalized and killed me. So very good by Johnny to do that. Um, Johnny's been improving you know so yeah and porcupine beating roya that was quite a hype set too this was also one of the upsets that we listed in the last um page uh but yeah porcupine beating roya that's i think his first pr or second pr win ever like on a philippine pr player so that was pretty hype yeah and we'll move on to the next slide three honorary filipinos so these are the players who are not formally Filipino, but they are considered Filipino by our community. In other words, players who would be on the PR, but are not due to their location. P these players are part of the community ranking as honorable mentions, but are not officially part, part of the power ranking. Um, so the first one, we're going to do in reverse order from worst to best. So the first uh, honorary Filipino is I like fries. Number three, I like fries is from S uh, Singapore. He's a Fox main. He's like kind of an up, up and coming player. He's he was he's been improving like recently, but um yeah, uh he's not bad at all. So yeah, let's just move on. <laughs> I don't know what else to say about Fry, sorry. Uh the second honorary Filipino is X the Char. X the Char is a Zelda and Sheik main from Singapore. He's actually American. Um, but he is living in Singapore, so he plays with us on online events as well as Fry's. And he does really well. He usually gets like top three, top four in most events. He even won WoW Melee 8. Or, oh no, WoW Melee 9, sorry. But yeah, that's extra char. And then the last honorary Filipino is Balu. Balu is from India. He gets really good ping with all of us, like under 80 or under 70. So... I feel like he deserves this spot. He's a really good player. He's probably better than all the players on this PR, honestly. Um, he is better than all the players on this PR. Like, no one has ever taken a set off of him. Um, he's really good. And he plays Marth. So, yeah. Next, we'll go on to the power ranking. Players who are in the Philippines who performed above the rest of the competition. These players are rewarded for the competitive achievements whilst they were in the community this season. So let's look at this. At rank 15, we have Sweets. So Sweets is a Dr. Mario main. He's been active since 2020. He likes Twice, the K-pop group, and he hates Sweets, but not himself. That's the candy. Uh, next, we have Kaiser. Kaiser is a Peach main. He's the newest player, uh, newest active player. He's been active since this year only. He likes Yu-Gi-Oh! and he hates Falco. Um, we're going to see lots of hate on Falco today uh, in this ranking. So next is rank 13, Hex. He's a Marth main, active since 2021. He likes Gengar, the Pokemon, I think. That's what he means. 
And he hates Sheik. So some Sheik hate here. Yeah. Uh, BB Nick is rank 12. And he mains Sheik. So BB Nick is my brother. He came back to the Philippines. He's, he lives abroad currently. And he came back to the Philippines for a couple months. Attended some tournaments. Did really well. Won the Arcadian. So he likes teamfight tactics. And he hates Falco as well. So, um, yeah, well done by my brother. He did good when he came back. But now he, he left already, so he's not in the Philippines anymore. So he probably won't be in the next ranking. Porcupine21, rank 11. So Porcupine21 is an interesting case. He was, like, one of the fastest improving players last year. And he just started at the end of last year. And he's made, like, lots of strides in his gameplay. Um, he mains Sheik. He's active since 2021. He likes Rivals of Ether. Fun fact about, about Pork... He is the best Rivals of Ether player in the Philippines. or And I think he's top three in Southeast Asia or Asia. I'm not exactly sure. He hates Tekken plays, as all Sheiks should. So, yeah, that's Pork. Great player. Cool guy. Love him. Uh, rank 10 is Agril. Agril is a uh, Sheik main. He has been active since 2020. He likes Spider-Man and he hates Clanking with Shine. So, Agril is an interesting case, actually. He's like the only player who doesn't interact that much with the community, but he's still improving at like a pretty decent rate. Like he's improving pretty fast, actually. He's been getting close to taking some wins off the top nine, which I think is pretty impressive. He got a win on me, on my Falco, but yeah, I think he, he can get a win on some other PR players. It's just going to take a little bit more time and a little bit more practice. He's almost there. Uh, rank nine, we have Roya. Roya is a Captain Falcon main, active since 2020. He loves Captain Falcon, obviously, he mains it. And he hates Falco, obviously, because what Falcon doesn't hate Falco? Um, Roya has been playing lots of Rivals of Ether lately, actually. Um, he hasn't been playing much melee lately, but he's still obviously a threat in the community. He's the best Falcon in the Philippines. And yeah, that's Roya. At rank 8, we have... Taxmaster, another Sheik main. Yep, that's the fourth Sheik main on this PR. He's been active since 2015, technically, but he took like a long couple years break. Um, he likes Melee 1.03 and he hates Custom Controller. So Tax was actually ranked second on the last PR, like last year's PR. Um, but he's since been taking a bit of a backseat to me uh, for Melee or to Melee. He uh, hasn't been playing that much, but I think he's still. A huge threat because like he can he can take down really good players um in the relative to our scene so i think um as long as he just keeps entering he'll still be in the top nine easily somewhere there um not sure if he's like actively trying to like keep playing and stuff like that anymore but yeah we'll see what happens in the future if he stays inactive if he becomes inactive or like continues playing Rank 7, we have ISD. So ISD is a Falco main. Uh, I think this is the first Falco main on the PR. Am I, am I incorrect there? First Falco main in the PR. And he's been active since 2014, but he also took a big break somewhere there, like a, a couple years break at least. Um, so he likes it when you call him on his cell phone and he hates when at late night you need his love. So ISD has like some Drake thing going on right now. Um, like when he tried to get voted in for one of our tournaments which was an invitational he had like this whole drake um drake thing like he would like wear a drake mask and like talk in a video and like play the drake music throughout the video it's just i i don't know what's going on with him okay it's funny though but that's isd next at rank six we have machu achu or just machu actually he is a uh, a Falco main, active, active since 2020. He's made a lot of improvements in the last, like, half year. His tech chasing is getting a lot better. His, um, his combo game as well, really good. He gets, he can, like, one-shot me quite consistently. Um, he likes his, uh, My Falco is clean. The hardcore diss track by me, Yetis don't, uh, Yetis exist. And he hates My Falco is clean. The hardcore diss track by me, Yetis exist. So that's Machu. Machu, this is his highest placing on any of the Philippine rankings so far. 
We'll, let's see how he does uh, in the future, right? Let's see how what happens in the future. Uh, next would be rank five Delta. Delta is the only puff main in the entire country. I know the country isn't that like booming with players, but it's still interesting to see that he's the only puff main out of everyone in the country. Um, he's been active since 2020. He likes Type Moon, which is some anime thing. And he hates Fox's Up Smash because, of course, you're Puff. Why wouldn't you hate Fox's Up Smash? Or Up Air, right? It's like, those are the two things you should hate. If there's one thing a Puff main would hate, it's it's Fox Up Smash or Fox Up Air. Uh, next, rank 4, we have Johnny69. So Johnny69 means Falco. He's been active since 2018. And he likes Chess Day. Uh, he also hates traders. So Johnny69, uh, avid gym goer or work outer. I don't know what to call it. Someone who works out. And yeah, he hates traders. Uh, very yeah. When he told me that, I was like, is he trying to tell me something? Like, did I do something wrong to him? You know, <laughs> uh, as you know. But I think he's just messing around. He just hates traders. Kind of funny, but uh, yeah. Rack three is me. Yetis exist. So I played Fox and Falco this season. Um, honestly, just being honest here, this is my honest opinion. I think the Falco playing Falco like brought my results down by quite a lot, because I think everyone would agree that my Fox is better. But I don't have any regrets on playing Falco. You know, like Falco is a good character. I learned a lot about the game in general just by playing Falco. I've been active since 2017. I like Falco and I hate other Falcos because I'm really bad against Falcos. Um, that's partly a reason why I picked up Falco as well. Anyway, that I'm not going to take away from these two players above me who are Zack, uh, rank 2 Zack. So Zack plays a lot of characters actually. He has a Fox, a Falco, a Peach. He even has a Puff and he kind of has a Marth but... I don't think he brought them out this season, so we, we didn't put them into the, the list of characters that he plays. Um, he's been active since 2020. He likes delaying things and he hates flatulence. So this is just an inside joke. Like, you know, the Philippine SPM League took like eight months. Zach was one of the players who was like kind of making dragging out the tournament a bit. But, you know, it's all it's all good. You know, the, the league's finished. Zach won the league as well. And the, the joke about the flatulence is that in grand finals of the league, he said that he has flatulence and he can't play right now. So, yeah, I mean, he ended up playing the set uh, right then and there, but um, it's pretty funny. Like, out of nowhere, he's just like, I have flatulence. And yeah, that's Zach. Rank 1, okay? The rank 1 spot is finally taken over uh, by Machina. Machina is a Marth main. He's the highest ranked Marth main, obviously. He's rank one. And he's been active since 2014. He's actually good friends with ISD. He they both took a break from melee for a couple of years. They didn't they haven't been playing consistently since 2014, is what I'm saying. They they've definitely took a couple of years off somewhere there. So yeah. Um he likes Fire Emblem and he hates the Philippine government. A bit intense there with the Philippine government hate, but yeah, he, he, he plays a lot of Fire Emblem. Um, when he's not playing melee, he's playing Fire Emblem. That's all I can say. Um, good game, though, so not going to complain. And finally, the last slide I'm going to talk about. Previous power ranking comparisons. So missing in action. No one is missing in action. Everyone showed up. Everyone on the last PR showed up on this PR. Uh, we have new faces. Porcupine, 21, BB Nick, Hex, Kaiser, and Sweets. And this is because... Mainly because we have a 15-man power ranking now. But the second timers um, are the people who showed up on the last PR and this this PR. So we have Machina, Zack, Yetis, Johnny69, Delta, Machu, ISD, Tax, Roy, Agril. All of those people were on the last PR um, in different order. But so like they're still the top 10. The top 10 has... The, the top 10 basically dominates everyone below them. That's kind of how the scene is right now. Not really dominates, but like yeah i guess dominates is a good actually they dominate the people below them the top 11 to 15 um are just like a solid improving group that are likely to get in could get into the top 10 you know in the near future but are not yet there yet so that's it for the power ranking video thank you for watching i'm going to um 
this is the official ranking okay so i'm going to like make this official by you know putting it on what is it liquipedia or smashpedia or something I'll, I'll put it there somehow or someday but this is the final ranking for this first half of 22 of, of 2022 thank you for watching the video hope you enjoyed it and see you guys next time